Hi, Vijay Mystery here. In this video, I want to share with you the three keys to becoming a world-class leader. Now, I know there are very many triggers, there are very many other value drivers and traits for you to become a world-class leader, but I believe these three will stand out because I believe they make a profound impact in accelerating you to becoming a world-class leader. So let's deep dive straight into these three keys to becoming a world-class leader. First and foremost, world-class leaders are always curious to know what is evolving and what is emerging, what's new. Every single day, they are stepping the game. They're looking for ways and means of improving what they already do. And, and they're always seeking opportunities. So what you really need to do is find out exactly what's new. And here's just a tip that I would suggest and propose to you is that spend 20 minutes or 30 minutes every week. If you are a team or if you are one or two, it doesn't matter. But just step back and find out exactly what's new that is impacting your industry, your business directly or indirectly. That in itself is going to add a lot of traction because once you start picking those particular insights, it will change the face of how you are running your business. Now, here's one thing. This 20, 30 minutes a week, it depends. Again, it depends on your flexibility and what you want to do. But at the end of the day, I believe it is an investment because that particular investment will pay off big time if you just get one or two new ideas which is going to shift everything for you. So that is one key on becoming a world-class leader. Let's move to the next point, which is mindset. World-class leaders are bold. They take risks. In fact, I was talking to one leader whom I believe is world-class and I told him, what is the recipe for your success? And I was privileged to be a non-executive director in their company. And here's a gentleman who did not have a penny in his pocket. And right now, he is the owner of a, a, a company which employs over 200 employees and he's got a lot of property and he's done very well, successful. And one thing that I asked him is, is what differentiates you from the rest? What is that one thing that you've done that uh, moves the needle for you? And he said he took risks. This is the key thing. Your mindset, if you are within your comfort zone, then you're not going to stretch your thinking. You need to move to a mindset of growth and look for opportunities. It's very important to understand risks, absolutely important to ensure that you've got your risk parameters in place. But at the same time, come up with a mindset of growth. And how can you do this is when you start challenging what you already do. That what is it that we can do to scale up our organization? Or what is it that we can do to progress further or uh, to transform some of our operations? If you start asking bold questions, you'll start getting certain insights which may help you transform the way you are doing your particular business. So here's just one tip that I can share with you is that in the next meeting that you have or even if you're a sole proprietor it doesn't matter but figure out and ask yourself this particular question what else can we do that is going to make a transformational impact to the growth of our organization if you start picking up certain signals which are correlated to the growth of your organization it's going to change everything for you that's what I believe. Let's move to the third point, which is TikTok. Now, obviously, time is precious. Everybody has got 24 hours in a day. You and I know that. We all know the importance of time. But world-class leaders are ruthless with the way they uh, use their time. It's about maximizing. They eliminate all sorts of distractions and they ensure they are disciplined and they execute on a timely basis. So you need to be extremely ruthless when it comes to utility of your time, ensuring that you are adding traction. And this can only happen if you have a schedule and you work towards 
having that discipline and focus towards the core leverage drivers for you and your organization. So my dear friends, I hope you found this video on three keys to becoming a world-class leader insightful. I look forward to seeing you in the next video where I'll share with you more growth-driven tips to help you grow your company and help you become a world-class entrepreneur, leader, director, executive, and manager. Thank you very much for now.